Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's only fitting that lawmakers would give their last remarks during the last session of the term in the historic Guam Congress building. She served for nearly two decades, and today, Speaker Judy Wampat bid farewell to the 33rd Guam Legislature. I never planned on making politics my career. But what I loved most about being a public servant is the opportunity to stay connected to people, and more importantly, to have the capacity to help them. That's one of the things that they don't tell you when you pick up your freshman senator orientation packet. Her colleague, Legislative Secretary Senator Tina Munya Barnes, leaves knowing they have accomplished much for the island. I stand here with 34 years of government service knowing that Guam's going to be in a better place because of the work that we've all done together. Also leaving is Minority Leader Senator Tony Atta, who says he embraced bridging the gap between the body and the administration. When I reminisce upon my seven years as, of service as Senator of the Guam Legislature, that is when I am most filled with gratitude to be given the opportunity to serve the people of Guam like my father before me has been the singular greatest honor of my life. And for Senator Frank Bloss Jr., he thanked his colleagues past and present for helping shape him. The sage advice, the conversations, the suggestions, the recommendations, the criticisms from everyone that I served with is in this legislature. Over the last nine years, eight, nine years, I want to thank you for building this. I want to thank you all for helping me to be the best that I can be to be a servant to the people of Guam. And for Majority Leader Senator Rory Respicio, he accepts the will of the people and left some advice for the next legislature. But my plea to the members of the 34th Guam Legislature is you're coming home to a brand new building let your behavior, let your actions, let your energy reflect the importance of the legislature as a separate and co-equal branch of government. And we just, ladies and gentlemen and colleagues, we just have to continue to rise above, above those things. Senator Nerissa Underwood gave her remarks during session last month, whereas Senator Brian McCready is off island. The best of us choose hope. We do this for our children and our children's children, we nurture hope. We carry her on our backs, just as our ancestors carried her on theirs. Choose hope. This is all of our work, and our work is not done. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.